What's up everybody? My name is David and I'm Manny and on this episode we're going to show you the process that we go through to pick out hold back crested geckos. Now this is going to be about crested geckos but this really applies to any animal project that we're working on where you look for the same things in them so hope you guys enjoy this video. So a question that I have gotten recently is how do we go about picking our hold back crested geckos? Now I'm going to show you a couple tips that I look out for because especially when they're babies their colors and patterns aren't fully developed but, but there are some things that you could look at right away and um, you know that's going to help you. It also depends on what kind of project you're going for you know if my main thing is to hold back some really nice pinstripes and obviously this one's not gonna cut it but if my main thing is to hold back some like yellow and cream geckos then this one's gonna be more um, you know suited for that project so it just really depends on your project but for the sake of this video let's let's say we're gonna we're just gonna go for anything nice you know like any anything nice and I'm gonna tell you what I look for so this is good that I actually have this gecko right here in my hand this particular gecko is a very beautiful gecko, but it's not something I would hold back. And why you may ask, if you zoom in over here, look at the head on this gecko. Now, the crests aren't very impressive as you can see. There's like, it looks like it got pinched in the crest. Some of its crests here are also being folded, but um, the crests are not super triangular and wide. So this is already something that I look out for and it's not, you know, the best. But sometimes I will bypass that if the pattern and the color is really exceptional. Now, another thing I look at, again, depends on the type of project, but it's the, the quality of the color and the pattern. Now, obviously, this is more of like a yellowish cream um, flame partial pinstripe. So if that's a project that I'm going for, then, you know, you know, then we could talk a little bit more about if we would hold this one back. But just for um, the sake of the video, I'm gonna tell you that the color on this thing is very nice, and don't get me wrong, but it's not gonna be, I've seen better. You know, I've seen um, a lot nicer geckos already at this size that are from the same morph. So that's why I'm not super crazy about holding this one back. It's gonna make an excellent pet. Obviously it's a healthy gecko, it's jumping around and everything, but it's just not something that I would personally hold back for breeding purposes. Now. When we're talking about, you know, holding back geckos, also what you got to take in consideration is your experience. That's why I always tell people, if you can start off with babies, it's going to take more time to grow them up and stuff, but you really get a good um, eye for what traits develop nicely, what traits don't, um, you know, and, and, and you're going you're gonna to have a lot more experience under your belt when it comes time to breed your animals and actually produce babies and then hold those babies back. That's why I always tell people, start off with babies if you're looking to breed. Let's take a, a look at another gecko in here. Um, this one is actually pretty nice too. Not fired up as you could see, but at this size, you could already see the white walls that are right on the side of this gecko. Now, the crests aren't the most impressive ever, but it does have better crests than the previous baby we just showed. And the pattern is absolutely incredible. I love the high pattern on this thing right here. As you can see, as this gecko gets older, it's gonna have more um, like a, a more defined markings on the sides that extreme harlequin pattern it's also gonna be a tricolor I could already tell because of the uh, well-defined white walls but at this size it's already showing very very beautiful pattern now my personal project that is extreme harlequin pinstripes I like them to have full pinstripes this one doesn't have full pinstripes so I don't know maybe I'll hold it back for a couple months if it develops really nicely, like the color and, and, the, and the markings, then maybe I will decide to um, hold it back. But as of right now, I'm not like completely so like, oh, I have to hold it back. Um, but yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous gecko. I mean, the markings on this thing and the white walls already are very impressive. So I really like this one, but let's take a look if there's anything else impressive in here. Okay, this one's pretty nice. So this gecko here is actually a quad stripe. So let's say I'm looking for a gecko for my quad stripe project, right? Okay, so maybe this one will uh, do the job. 
Now, this gecko has a nicer head than the previous two. It has full pin stripes all the way down the back, so that's good if I'm looking for a quad stripe project because, you know, you want to make sure you produce full pin stripes if that's what you're aiming for. Now, the laterals on this gecko are very creamy. That's like my cup of tea, but one lateral is full and the other lateral is not full. It's not perfect. So, I could decide to hold back this gecko, but Personally, I have better geckos to choose from, from so I'm not gonna do this one. But um, very nice looking gecko, as you can see. I, I really like the head structure on this one already, and it's still a baby. They do, you know, as they get older, they will develop a really nice head structure. And something about this baby that's really interesting is the eyes. Um, I'm gonna get a better shot of it in a second, but the eyes on this little one is super, super interesting. Uh, very unique to the other. Uh, eyes of the other geckos in here but um this one's gonna be super creamy also has that some of that white wall white out markings on the side so it's you know another really gorgeous gecko but um yeah i'm not 100 sold on these just yet let's see if there's anything else in here oh no i don't think so let's look in the next bin all right so i just pulled out another gecko bin to show you guys a little bit more of what I'm talking about when looking for baby gecko holdbacks. Now, these are actually random bins of babies I'm grabbing, so I don't actually know if there's gonna be like a crazy holdback in here. But um, let's start off with this gecko right here. And you can tell these are, you know, pretty small. These are probably about a month old. Yeah, they're literally about a couple days shy of a month old. But you know, you could still, you could already start to tell, especially if you got some experience. So this one right here is a little Harlequin Crested Gecko. Now it is still a very beautiful gecko obviously. Not the color that I would want in my Harlequin projects, but it is, you know, you know, it's it's still a baby. So you you don't have to you you could hold them back for a little bit longer if you're not experienced and grow them out, see how the color turns out. But this one right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you the color is not what I'm looking for. It also doesn't have uh, a very defined markings or a very bright markings like I want so I'm not I'm gonna put this one back all right now here I have a little pinstripe right off the bat you could tell that the color on this one is much nicer let me see if I could compare the two these are both dark geckos like a dark base gecko you could see the one on my finger over here on my right hand already has better color I got him I got him um, better color already so it's not necessarily gonna be still not necessarily hold that quality just because it doesn't ha it's not the complete package um, if you're gonna be a hold back here I would need you to have the complete package or one of your traits must be exceptional for me to hold you back so this one color is awesome structure is you know it's average um, the pattern and the pinstripe the pinstripes are not complete so if this was going to a pinstripe project you know it, that's why I'm not gonna hold it back because uh, it's about a 80% pinstripe and the laterals are very nice but they're broken up it, it looks like with this animal you could definitely produce quad stripes and they're gonna be nice colored quad stripes at that but it you know I have a lot to choose from from this is not this is not what I'm gonna hold back okay if we look here okay perfect here is another little harlequin okay this little harlequin and a lily white the lily white is nice the harlequin is nice as also but look when it comes to this harlequin this one this harlequin has a little bit more of a um of like a dashed pinning compared to that other harlequin we showed you that didn't have that now this one not fired up obviously but you could see that it has higher harlequin markings than the other one more markings on the legs which is something i look for you know because when you're breeding harlequins you want a lot of those markings now the markings on this particular gecko aren't well defined they're not super crazy contrasty so it's not you know nothing that i would particularly hold back but i want you guys to look at something with this gecko real quick if when when i show you a zoomed in version of this uh, a video of this gecko you see the little white dots that are on the side sometimes those white dots on the laterals are going to indicate that the gecko is going to have a tricolor um now it also depends on the lines that the geckos are coming from obviously i know my lines so i could tell you that from my lines but this gecko very very pretty not going to be a hold back quality in my opinion 
or in my breeding facility. Now this Lily White, now Lily Whites, it's hard to say, you know, they're all so absolutely gorgeous. This one actually has a lot of the Lily White markings that I love, you know, the actual thick markings on the laterals, um, down the back, the structure, not the best, obviously it is a Lily White, Lily Whites, we're still working on getting them really massive heads, uh, but it's a gorgeous gecko. The color is not super crazy, but I do love the, how much white it has. This one, you know, I'm not gonna hold back most likely, but I could tell you right now, it's gonna be covered in white. And you can already start to see it drip and everything, which is really uh, a good sign as a baby. But um, I'm gonna leave this one here. Maybe, you know, I mean, I'm not gonna sell this this small anyways. So we're gonna hold on to it for a couple months, see how it develops more, and then we'll make a decision. But I don't think I'm gonna hold it back, but it's still a very beautiful animal. Let's see if there's anything else. I think that's the one we showed already. Oh no, that's another one actually. Yeah, this is another one. So this is a good comparison to that other pinstripe. Let me see if I can pull them out. Because this one actually has full pinstripes. It has um, a little bit better laterals. And the color is not as, as bright right now because it's not fired up. Look at this nice little lily white right here. But, um, oh, there it is. Okay, so these are probably siblings actually. You could see that this one is fired up and this one is not fired up. But, you know, we don't judge geckos just on when they're fired up because that's, uh, you know, you. this one might look better when it fires up. We just don't know right now. But um, I want you to look though. Look at the breaks and the pinstripe scales on, these lid, on this one right here. This one on my thumb doesn't have the brakes on the pinstripes it has more complete pinstripes on the laterals it has a more complete lateral and more defined white out pat pattern so that's something that you know i want to look out for the other laterals obviously not perfect either but um you know it's still pretty nice it's still a pretty well developed lateral um and this is if i'm trying to you know uh hold back a gecko for my quad stripe project if I'm going to choose between these two, it's going to be this one. Why? Because it has uh, thicker lateral markings, complete pinstripe scales. Um, the head size on both of them is pretty even. And the color, I would say, is probably pretty even. This one looks nicer right now because it's fired up, but, you know, it, it that, that changes, especially as they age. So here I have in my hand one of our actual holdback crested geckos. Now, the reason why we decided, there's actually many reasons why we decided to hold this gecko back. Um, as, David, as David mentioned, we are looking for a lot of particular thing and this gecko actually has a lot of those things. First off, he has incredible head structure. He's gonna have a nice big triangular head, very impressive pins and stick out nicely. And then secondly, as you can see, his color is absolutely amazing. It's mind blowing. Um, but just keep in mind, even when this crested gecko is fired down, it is gonna look a little ugly, but his color is absolutely outstanding and it's only going to get better and then his pinstripes his pins are complete they go from all the way from the tip of his from from the side of his head all the way down to the base of the tail very good we love full pinstripes here and also his quad stripe lateral markings they are complete they're not broken they're not dashed they're complete and they're clean and also this is a very very nice white out crested gecko the whites go all the way from the belly all the way from the to the lateral markings on the side very complete and he also has a lot of nice harlequin markings as well on the legs a lot of pattern it's not just solid black it has a lot of white and cream and orange and black so very high pattern gecko so this gecko actually has everything we love to see in one gecko and that's why we're holding that one back so here in my hands i have another incredible holdback crested gecko now as david mentioned before how we do look for head structure we do look for a color we do look for a lot of those things um this guy actually doesn't have a good head he has like average head structure and even his color isn't the cleanest but the thing that he does have is spots now when we have a gecko like this that has just an absolute like like exceptional one trait we're gonna sometimes hold it back like this one in particular is gonna be the super dalmatians he has a ridiculous 
amount of spots for his age. He's still very young and still going to develop a lot of spots. And you can see he also has a lot of big spots as well. Something we love to see. So his Dalmatian spots are some of the best out of any holdbacks we have. So we had to hold this guy back. And we, we can easily actually fix the color. With some selective breeding, like we if we pair this to like a nice yellow crested gecko, who's also a Dalmatian, we'll make some incredibly nice yellow and high spotted Dalmatians. And then also with the head structure, for some reason, super Dalmatians don't always have the best head structure, but that also can be fixed with some selective breeding. So like I said before, this guy might not have some of the other traits we're looking for, but he does have exceptional Dalmatian spots, which is why we're holding this one back. So here on my hands, I have another holdback Crested Gecko. This is another stunning Crested Gecko. And at first glance, same thing as the other one, doesn't have the best head structure, but it's more like average. But what stands out on this one is first off, the absolute, <laughs> the curry, this guy's a little crazy but it matches his color so this guy has some bold coloration crazy contrast as you can see if he kind of relaxes a little bit jet black color high orange on the head nice yellow dorsal and another thing this gecko has that's very outstanding it's this absolute solid stripe on its dorsal so this is what you would call a super stripe crested gecko why because you um you it's a quad stripe even though it's not a clean quad stripe because its fault would be it has one side of it is dash pinning while the other side is perfectly solid but that's easily fixed with a little bit of selective breeding you could actually fix that in one generation wow <laughs> but uh, it's super stripe is really really solid not many super stripes come out like this usually it could be a little dashed uh, but this one's nice long and thick completely <laughs> from head to tail Jesus. but so th that's why we decided to hold back this crested gecko i got skills catching man and um so this is gonna make a great breeder for us in the future we're gonna make some crazy high contrast super stripes with this crested gecko so this is the last one i'm gonna show you guys the last hold back um this is just an incredible gecko from head to tail it has everything you weed and you guys would ever want has a good head ridiculous pins now this is an extreme harlequin and they get their name from their that crazy patterning they have and this one has just sporadic intense patterning throughout its entire body and as you can guys can see right now its contrast is incredible it's basically almost solid black and white um so it has great color great pattern great structure just an absolute perfect gecko these are actually one of my favorites extreme harlequins in my opinion are some of the best geckos out there and they mix incredible with lily whites this should actually go to a lily white in the future um but just absolutely solid gecko from head to tail and this is what we love to see and this is what we love to hold back all right guys that wraps up another video i hope you enjoyed our little tedious process on how to pick our hold back crested geckos and if you liked the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and make sure you follow us on all of our other social media platforms. We got it all. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok. We got it all. Post individual content on every single one. Make sure you guys follow us. Until next time, we love y'all. One more thing. Make sure you follow with what's going on with US Arc and US Arc Florida in particular since we are in Florida. There's still a big battle going on between the iguanas the tegus, the Burmese pythons, all the invasive species and us over here in Florida that, that are trying to keep them as pets. They want to take them away from us. Make sure you support. Please, please, please keep up to date with what's going on. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Check out their website and see what is going on around the country too. And even if you don't live in Florida, you always, always should be, you know, keep up to date with what's going on because that tegu ban is not just spreading to florida now yeah, it's going South to Carolina, yeah. new york now it's going to yeah. other states so you guys you know pay attention to your state laws pay attention to what's going on spread the information because that's the only way we're going to really fight this Dude, I touched your dick. I said nice, long, and thick. <laughs> You're like, I'm a great catcher. <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> People <laughs> think I gay for sure. I know. Fuck. Yeah, look at that.
He sent me out. That's why you grabbed this gecko.